Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, well, yeah, it's time to upgrade the Mac. Um, I've had it for a long time now. Ever since I started university, I thought I'd treat myself, buy myself a brand new computer. The first um, Apple computer I've ever had and the only one I've ever had at the moment. Um, it's done me really well since then. Uh, it runs all my programs, Lightroom, Photoshop, very well. Um, no complaints whatsoever, seeing as it only comes with the standard 4 gb of RAM. But now I've kind of stepped into the whole video editing side of everything, um, using Premiere Pro and After Effects and stuff like that, it's really starting to struggle and to, to an extent it's becoming a bit frustrating to work with because it just runs so slow and sometimes it just stops and freezes altogether because it can't handle, you know, the amount of information and, you know, stuff going through it. So instead of going out and just buying myself a new Mac, I thought, you know, I'll try to save a bit of money and just spec it up a bit. So what I've got is I've got a 4 gig RAM card and an 8 gig RAM card that I'm going to put in for a combined um, RAM of 12 gig. And then maybe in the future I'll probably put a solid state hard drive in as well to just help with the performance and speed of the computer as well. Now I've seen online um, other channels and other people talking about that you can't really mix and match RAM cards like you can't have a 4 gig and an 8 gig like I'm about to do now because they won't work well or you know the performance won't be as good as if you add um, two 8 gigs to make a 16 or two fours to make an 8. But after talking to the manufacturer of the actual components that I've bought they said there's uh, no issue whatsoever and you can mix and match and there'll be no um, performance issues whatsoever and they'll work um, just as well as if you had two matching size cards. So that being said, I've bought some of the necessary tools, I've bought the micro screwdrivers um, and all that kind of thing. Um, hands are super spotless, not greasy at all, clean the desk out, so I've got plenty of room to work, I'm not going to lose screws. I don't really know much about computers and stuff like that, especially taking them apart and replacing parts. But um, after doing a bit of research and speaking to other other people and friends that have done um, similar kind of things to the computers, um, it doesn't seem too difficult and it's something someone with my skill level should be able to do. Um, however, you know, if you really are not confident in doing stuff like this, then I do recommend finding someone that does know what they're doing, whether that be a friend that's done it before or um, an actual professional that does um, computer upgrades and maintenance and stuff like that because... You know, at the end of the day, they are expensive bits of kit and you don't want to be opening them up and breaking things um, because you don't know what you're doing, basically. Um, I, I think I've done enough research to be able to help me do what I'm about to do, so in myself, I'm quite confident. With all that being said, um, let's get started. Let's jump straight into it and um, I'll talk you through what I'm doing and you can follow me on this journey to upgrading my Mac. So yeah, let's jump in. Wrong screwdriver. Hmm. Be right back. So the first part of this project was, of course, opening the back of the MacBook Pro. Um, wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. The screws came out really easily, and they weren't as fiddly as I thought they was going to be. The only thing is you've really got to try and keep a hold of the smaller screws that you take out and if you're not careful they will just roll off um, your desk or the surface you have them on unless you've got like a textured surface or some so, something magnetic to hold them down with but aside from that it was really easy and I can't see um, anyone struggling with this part of the procedure. So once I'd taken the back of the lid off, it was a bit unnerving seeing all the um, exposed circuits and all the inner workings of the computer. I wanted to work really quickly to get the old RAM out and the new RAM back in. Removing the old RAM was possibly the easiest part of this project as all you really had to do was just push apart the two plastic um, clips at the side and the RAM just came out really easily. You didn't have to put a lot of pressure on it at all and you know it was a really smooth um, it was really smooth getting them out 
However, the bit that I find the most trickiest was putting the new RAM cards in. Um, the first one went in really easily. Um, you can line them up um, quite easy because they have like little notches in them that line up with um, the part of the circuitry that you put them into. So the first one went in really easily. But then the next one on top, that was a bit more fiddly. Um, I didn't really want to apply too much pressure so I didn't break anything. But um, it took me a good few goes to get that in properly. But once it's in, um, it just pushes down and clips in really, really easy then. And then the next bit was just um, putting it all back together, screwing the lid back on. And again, that was just as easy as taking it off. Um, the only bit that I found tricky was putting the smaller screws back in. They were a bit harder to, um, to stay on the tip of the screwdriver because it was a magnetic screwdriver, but they kind of just wanted to fall to one side. It was very hard to like hold them with your finger or um, the other screwdriver to get them to go in. But... Again, once once you'd done a couple, you kind of got the knack of it and the rest went in really easily. Right, now we've installed the new RAM. Let's just check to see if it has registered on the computer. And there you go, um, 12 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM um, successfully installed into the computer. Um, overall, it really easy, um, really easy little upgrade to do. Um, not too tricky, I think anyone could do it. Um, if you just look right here, we've got the 8 gig card and the 4 gig card for a combined um, RAM of 12 gigabytes. So I'm hoping this will now speed up my workflow and you know just the overall performance of the computer. And I won't be as frustrated working with it. And um, as I've been ed editing this video together, um, I have been using the computer with its upgraded RAM and. You know, I can really notice a significant difference in how it runs. It's just a lot quicker. It's not really having to think about a lot of things as much as it used to do. And it's just made working with it a lot, lot nicer. So, yeah, thank you very much for um, joining me on this little project. Hopefully, there's a few more little um, MacBook um, upgrades to come very shortly as, you know, this has really improved um, the working of the computer dramatically so definitely thinking about upgrading some more parts of it so thank you very much for watching um, again please like share subscribe all the usual stuff it really does help and um, i'll see you in the next one bye